If you've tried to draw faces before and found the features didn't look right, I've got a handy technique to show you that will help you improve your sketches and level up your portraits. This is the first in a series of portrait videos, so hit the subscribe button and draw along with me as we take our sketch and turn it into this finished piece. You may have already seen some different methods of doing this, by drawing out grids or flipping the picture upside down to find the shapes, and while there's nothing wrong with these techniques, this way is great for beginners and gets you into good habits you can build on as you improve. Before we move on, I would love to hear from you guys which methods you've tried in the past and which you've been successful with, so let me know in the comments below. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to need a reference photo. Ideally, this will be the same size as your drawing paper and you will see why a little bit later on. And what we're going to do here is use a cheap felt tip pen like the one I've borrowed from my son's pencil case. We're going to use a sweeping motion to draw lines from one side of the face to the other, starting with under the eyes, over the eyes, tops of the eyebrows. The bottom of the nose, and the top and bottom of the mouth. These six lines are going to be our basic face proportions. At this point, we could draw a series of circles and triangles to outline the face and jaw structure, but we're going to make it a bit easier and just add an outline here for the face shape and here for the outline of her hair. Drawing the lines on the face will allow you to see the shapes instead of a face. The main thing that can cause a face sketch to go wrong is drawing what you think you see and not what you actually see. So we need to turn this into some shapes and break it down into sections. Now, try drawing the shapes you see onto the paper. Remember to go as softly as you can with the pencil and you will thank yourself later. I'm sketching a heavier line than I would usually so it can be seen on camera but you want it to be so light that you can barely see it, so you don't need to erase the lines at the end. The goal of trying to sketch these shapes initially is to try and train your brain to eventually draw without putting the guidelines on, but the only way to learn to do this is by practicing. So by looking at the shapes and angles you've created, lightly sketch them onto the paper. Try to stay quite relaxed while you're doing this. Let your arm and wrist be nice and floppy and create some lovely loose lines. Once you've sketched out all the lines, you can check how accurate you were. A good trick here is to use a compass to measure the distance between objects or the edge of the paper to see how accurate you were. This is where having a reference photo the same size as your sketch is a massive help. And don't worry if you miss the mark, just rub out the lines and have another go. In time, you'll find you get so good at sketching the shapes that you won't need to do this. Now that we have those first shapes down on the paper, I'd just like to start adding some additional vertical lines. I'm going to put lines on either side of the eyes and eyebrows, either side of the mouth and either side of the nose. Now I'm going to add those lines onto the sketch. I can start to see how big each section is in comparison to another. For example, I can see that the left side cheek is only a tiny bit bigger than the width of the nose. Once you think you're done, just check those measurements again with a compass and make any adjustments that you need to. So now I've broken the face down into sections, I know the features will be placed correctly and I can start sketching the detail. Going from one area to another using your guidelines to create shapes within shapes within shapes. So let's take this eye for example. We can see that the lower left corner starts roughly half of the way up the box that we drew. You can use a pencil edge like this to map the angle as it meets the top of the box or you can always revert back to our compass method and make light reference points to guide you. Next, we're going to repeat that process for all of our subject's features, the nose, mouth, 
eyebrows, ears if they're showing, and we can sketch in any prominent or particularly dark sections to help us later when it comes to shading. Now that I'm generally happy with the sketch, I'm just going to erase these guidelines from earlier. If you're drawing along with me, you might not need to worry about this if they're light enough. Remember, in time and after lots of practice, you won't need these guidelines and you'll be able to visualize where they are. Finally, now that I have a clean sketch without guidelines, I can add any further detail I need. I'm even going to sketch in any prominent or particularly dark sections to help later when it comes to shading. I hope this video has helped you guys improve your sketch work. Next up in the series, we'll be drawing the eyes onto this face with graphite pencils. If you'd like to draw along with me, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notify button. Happy drawing guys, I will see you in the next one.